Earlier this week, it was reported that a Westland seeking helicopter that was used in the Falklands War would be making its way into service in Ukraine. The helicopters have been in the country since early 2023, with the British government continuing to provide military support to the country. The Ukrainian Defence Minister, Oleski Renzinkov, said this upon their donation on January the 21st in a tweet that mentioned his British counterpart, Defence Secretary Ben Wallace. It is a strong reinforcement for the Ukrainian Navy. Our cooperation will continue to increase. However, the exact number of sea kings donated is unknown, but in November 2022 it was reported that at least three of the helicopters would be sent over and that Ukrainian crews would receive training on the sea kings in the UK which falls in line with the military training already being provided to Ukrainian forces within the UK itself. The Kiev Independent newspaper reported that the helicopters would help enhance the search and rescue capability of the Ukrainian military. Seeking, the world's most advanced and powerful anti-submarine hunter-killer helicopter, is produced by Westland, the company with greater experience of ship-borne helicopters than anyone else in the world. The Westland Seeking entered British naval service in the late 1960s and saw extensive action during the Falklands War in 1982. They were often seen flying between the ships of the British Task Force and performed a multitude of duties, such as anti-submarine patrols, and inserting troops onto the island itself. One was even flown by Prince Andrew. The Sea King also transported General Jeremy Moore into Port Stanley on the 14th of June 1982 to receive the Argentinian surrender. The helicopters served the British Armed Forces for almost 50 years and served all over the world from the Falklands to Afghanistan and beyond. Their final flight for the Royal Navy took place in September 2018. But the ever-reliable Sea Kings will now see a new lease of life in the Ukrainian Navy. The BBC were among the first media outlets to be given access to the donated helicopters since their arrival in the country. Talking to a pilot called Vasily, he shared his appreciation for their new helicopter. I like this helicopter because it is incredibly good for flying. It's one of the best for combat operations, whether transporting equipment or carrying out search and rescue. It's easy to fly, even in difficult conditions. It is so practical, we would like to receive more helicopters like these. An unnamed Ukrainian engineer further detailed the Sea Kings received by them are actually made up of entirely new parts, with very little of the original model remaining. They are old, but they have gone through modernisation, and we need them very much. More Sea Kings are expected to make their way into Ukraine in the coming months, with at least one more already being prepared at the time of making this video. For more on the weaponry and equipment being used in Ukraine, please visit the Armourer's Bench, where there is a playlist of over 50 videos for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you again soon.